Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this channel, I'm helping you level up your communication skills. In this episode, I'm gonna be teaching you how to become the modern day polymath. When I ask you, what do you think of when you think of a polymath? A lot of us are going to first ask, what is a polymath? A polymath is an individual who's extremely learned and knowledgeable in practice. All right, thanks. Uh, with that definition, I think of uh, Benjamin Franklin and Leonardo da Vinci. Those are going to be two of the most common names that come up for most of us. Cool, you thought of some names. Now there's a problem. The problem is when we think of these two names, we immediately create a separation. We're like, all right, these two are polymaths. That's how history remembers them. But not me. I consider myself a smart individual, but I can't be like them. Who says? Who says? And that's lesson number one in terms of being the modern day polymath. You need to have guts. You need to have that belief that I could do it. I could be smarter than them. Not just smart as them, not only getting close to them, but I could become smarter than them. A lot of logical individuals at this point are going to be like, well, what evidence do you have for this? How am I going to become smart as these individuals? There's no evidence. And they're going to start their little overthinking uh, process at this point. Sure, there's no evidence yet, but the modern day polymath, quite frankly, does not care. They're just going to say, I could do it. That's lesson number one, guts. Lesson two, is a little bit counterintuitive to lesson one, where it's good that you have the competitive spirit, it's good that you have the guts, but now it's a game of focusing more on yourself, not focusing so much on Benjamin Franklin and Leonardo da Vinci, where you don't let that be the main reason why you're becoming a polymath. We're focusing on us. Think about it. In this era, there's so many resources that these two individuals didn't have. We have so much information in terms of the internet. The internet has all these books, all these videos, all these podcasts, tweets, content, all over the place. So why aren't there more polymaths? Because for a lot of individuals, all this information in the internet is like a category five hurricane and we, the individual, is like a little plant hoping that the hurricane doesn't knock us down. But what would you do if I told you that this hurricane can be tamed? How, Armani? It sounds ridiculous that you even say something like that. It becomes tamed by doing lesson two, which is focusing on us. You see, the modern day polymath is not focusing on this first. The becoming extremely personality driven. The modern day polymath is created through personality leading the way. Let me explain what that means. Curiosity is the gut instinct for the mind. That means no one ever taught us to be curious regarding certain fields. It just happened. And each human, they're curious regarding different fields and they're curious regarding some of the similar fields. But when curiosity is involved, knowledge acquisition becomes effortless. It's extremely easy to learn if you're curious about the subject. So start bumping up curiosity in the order of importance. That's one way to become personality driven. Another way to become personality driven is to focus on what is it that I'm already good at? Other people are always telling me, hey, yo, Hey, you're pretty good at this. You ever thought about doubling down on it? And we'll say something like, nah, man, this is easy. I could teach you how to do this. And the other individual is like, man, either I find the task extremely boring, I tried it before and failed miserably, or I feel terrified doing the task. I feel extremely self-conscious doing it. Yet for us, we're often late to the party. This is a task we need to be doubling down on. 
Let's say you're extremely great at freestyle rap, impromptu speaking, the ability to use logic, dance, something. There's some skill that all of us are just innately extremely gifted at. Curiosity and a task that we are innately gifted at or we want to become gifted at. That's a form of curiosity. That's lesson two of the modern day polymath. We're extremely personality driven. Before even trying to tame the hurricane, we're focusing on the little plant. By focusing on the plant first, this scary hurricane turns into structure, which leads us to lesson number three. Once we turn the scary hurricane into structure, it now becomes our servant. And the internet, once it becomes structured, which means that it's no longer the boogeyman, it's no longer scary, it's no longer taking you down endless paths, it's a pretty dope place. Extremely dope. So once we have understood our curiosities and what we're gifted at, now we can ask strategic questions to the internet or any form of resource out there. It doesn't just need to be the internet. It could be us looking up certain books on Amazon. This time, we're asking specified questions. We're asking questions that are unique to us. And whenever content is unique to us, we're much more likely to put it into practice. So by doing this structured act, we are now accumulating more and more information. We are putting it into practice. And how did I define the polymath? An individual that is extremely knowledgeable, learned, in practice. Those are the three steps. Wait, 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 Armani, Armani. I am extremely curious about hip hop music. How is it that me making beats for hip hop, how the hell am I going to learn the deeper truths of life? Huh? Think about it. All knowledge is connected. Every last bit of knowledge is connected at one way, shape or form once you invest into lifelong learning. Example, one individual can have two domains of interest. One is rubber ducks and the other is the Pepsi industry. If he learns about both of these fields for five years straight, these extremely disparate fields are going to strangely intertwine. All knowledge is connected. So it doesn't matter if you start off with hip hop beats and you're going onto Google reading books about how to get better at hip hop beats. At one way, shape or form, if you continue long enough, eventually it's going to become how is the technology for the beats that I'm producing becoming designed? Huh, since I'm learning more about technology, how about I learn a little bit more about science? Since technology is applied science, huh, since I'm learning a little bit more about science, how does science get started? Oh, so science got started like this. Oh, I didn't know science was suppressed by this. And then we're just going on this web. This is interleaving learning. Interleaving learning is the capability of learning multiple different subjects at once. The worlds are no longer separate. All the worlds are being combined. This is the modern day polymath. The polymath who has that belief, that strong belief that I could be just as smart, if not smarter than Benjamin Franklin, Leonardo da Vinci, or any other kind of da Vinci's out there. That gets the motivation amped up then the modern day polymath suddenly switches to getting the motivation extremely amped up, channeling that competitive spirit to focusing on themselves. What is it that I'm curious about? What is it that I'm extremely good at already? Once they're able to do something like that, the scary world of the internet starts to become structured, starts to become tamed. And this individual now dives into this tamed world and starts making it its servant asking strategic questions, putting it into practice, gradually going from one world to the next, to the next, to the next. In this era, the polymaths that are created are completely different. Don't think that a polymath is someone who's only logically gifted. The modern day polymath, the future belongs to 
the artistic engineers, the individuals that are able to combine the field of creativity, logic, arts, philosophy, all that into one beautiful package. The final product? There is none. There is no such thing as a final product for a polymath because the polymath understands the more they learn, the more they need to learn. The more they put into practice, the more they need to put into practice. The more they do, the more they love. The more they love, the more they want to do. That's the beauty of the modern day polymath. So don't tell yourself that you can't do it. Rather than looking out too much, start focusing more internally, start understanding all the resources that are given in this era that was not given in previous eras. And finally, capitalize, become a polymath that others simply cannot mimic. Thank you for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel, and I'll catch you on the next episode.